God bless you. Welcome to the Greater Destiny Live Stream Ministries. I'm Bishop Jonathan Edward Locusini. We're glad to have you on this Sunday afternoon. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for you and we pray that things are well in your life. And as we always do, we start our service with the word of prayer. Dear Father God, we come before you this afternoon thanking you for your many blessings, your love and kindness, your tender mercy. We thank you for making ways, opening doors, and working miracles. You are a prayer answering God. Look down on us today. Strengthen our will and our desire to please you and give us victory over everything that's not like you. God, we pray that you bind the adversary that will seek to destroy us today. And make the enemy lose his hope right now by the blood of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for the sick and the shut and those that are continue to die and be in hospitals on ventilators from this COVID and Delta variant. God, we pray for those that are sick and shut in. Lord, those that are without homes, Lord, those that are in danger of being evicted from their homes. Lord, we ask you to continue to make a way for them. Those that don't have food, Lord, pray that you make a way for them. And pray for our country, Lord. These disasters with the fires on the west coast and the flooding in the east and the tornadoes in the south. God, we pray that you speak peace right now. Touch the leadership of this country. Move, Lord, through all this wicked Yes, and deceitfulness in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you continue to move on our behalf. Amen. We thank you for what you've done, for what you're doing, and what you're going to do. These blessings I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for you today. We're going to go right into our scripture this afternoon out of the book of Galatians. Paul writing here to the Galatians chapter number 1 verse number 6 and he says I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel and that's what we're going to talk about today another gospel. Uh, Paul here, he is writing specifically to the churches in Galatia. Uh, normally, when Paul would write, he would start out with a greeting and talking about how he was thankful for the church and the people that were in the church. Mm -hmm. But in this particular letter, he starts right out with a rebuke. Mm -hmm. He rebukes them for being removed mm -hmm. from the gospel of Jesus Christ to another gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, he tells them this, that uh, they should not be defecting from the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that, that that's why he said in verse number 7, he said, which is not another, but there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. See, that's what, that's what was happening. Mm -hmm. they were, there was a perversion. They were trying to change the gospel of grace and faith into a gospel of works. Mm -hmm. And that's why he had to come on the attack with this. Now, First thing I think we should do, we would define what is the gospel. The gospel would be defined as the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, why is this so important when we talk about the gospel <clears throat> of Jesus Christ? If we follow scripture, we'll go to Romans chapter number 1. In verse number 16. Now let's see what.
Paul says here. He says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Why is it so important? Look at 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by faith. See, that's the key element here in the gospel of Christ, because number one, it has the power to save. It's the power of God unto salvation. Then it leads to faith. That's what he's, that's what he's letting you know right there it leads to faith it goes from faith to faith and it is important because if we have faith we know we are justified by our faith in Jesus not by works that's what justification is the Galatians were leaving or defecting from faith and moving toward a course or a gospel of works. Mm -hmm. And this is why Paul had to come in and right off the bat telling them you are out of order. Now, he said there are some, in verse number 7, he said there, there are some that trouble you. And this is why you have to be careful because the Bible lets us know God has ministers and the devil has ministers also. So we have to be careful of these things that are going on. You got to be careful who you're listening to. You got to be careful who you're up under because Satan has ministers just like the Lord has them. So you have to be careful because these ministers of the devil have a way of corrupting and distorting the truth. That's why he says some trouble you. See, they distort it. They corrupt it. They pervert it. That's what he's saying. They pervert it. So we have to be careful in what we listen to. Whatever you are being taught or being preached, it should line up with the scripture that's the problem uh, uh, Paul when he started off that letter he said I'm an apostle mm -hmm. he said not of men or by men mm -hmm. so he said men don't have nothing to do with what I'm preaching mm -hmm. it comes from the Lord mm -hmm. and that's the same thing it should be today mm -hmm. people should just, you should be listening to somebody just sitting up at home making up something mm -hmm. this is your soul mm -hmm. is at stake and that's and the only thing that's going to help us is got to be the true word of God. Because there's a lot of people that are messed up right now because they listen or receive the wrong thing. Now let's look at look at Jude. Jude. Uh Jude and we'll look at <coughs> verse number four. Uh and that we can understand what well, I tell you what let's start at three. He said, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. We have to earnestly contend for it because there's so many people that are corrupting it and messing folk up and people are falling by the wayside. Now let, look at verse number four. Watch this. He said, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness mm -hmm. and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So you see that? These men were, or, look what he said, these men were ordained 
of old, mm -hmm. before they even got here, to do this type of terrible messing up and twisting of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And you have to be careful of that because they're very convincing. Mm -hmm. Look, look what he said. Look what he said. Look at verse number five. He said, I will therefore put you in remembrance Though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward mm -hmm. destroyed them that believed not. Mm -hmm. See, that's one thing you might as well get out of your mind, is this once in, never out. Mm -hmm. If you get in, you can get out. Mm -hmm. If you save, you can get unsaved. Mm -hmm. If you save, you can backslide. Mm -hmm. So you need to get, we need to get that in our mind. Look what he said in 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. Mm -hmm. He hath reserved an everlasting change under darkness unto the judgment of that great day. Mm -hmm. Look at that. He's he, he talk, he talking about the fallen angels. Mm -hmm. See, they had their holy estate in heaven mm -hmm. and got cast out. How? By following Lucifer. Yes, that is. Going down to seven. He talks about Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. That's homosexuality. Mm -hmm. See? Are set forth an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. They're going to hell. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. So these are things we have to understand. Our soul is at stake. People are playing games and, and playing with words and people's souls are at stake. Mm -hmm. This is what we have to we have to constantly. That's why Paul had to fight this mess. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have this defection from the truth. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, people are defecting from that, following after the flesh. Following after the world, the Bible tell you in First John two fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So these are the things we have to understand mm -hmm. that if we're not trying to do it by works, but if we have faith, we will be led by the Spirit, mm -hmm. and we will produce a lifestyle mm -hmm. of righteousness. It's not, it's not nobody beating you down or trying to make you do. You'll do it because you want to do it. You'll do it because it is right. And the more we put the flesh under subjection, we'll have better control spiritually. You won't be jumping and going back and forth. But you're going to have to, we have to, stick with the truth. If you look in the book of Second Timothy, let's just get a few scriptures here. Second Timothy 4. Second Timothy 4 and 2. Look at this. So we Paul tells Timothy. He says, preach the word. Mm -hmm. Be instant in season, out of season. Mm -hmm. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Mm -hmm. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Mm -hmm. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth mm -hmm. and shall be turned unto fables. Mm -hmm. That's what you got going on right now. People are leaving the truth and running after something that is pleasing to the ear. I think one of the one of the prophets one of the prophets said they said prophesying to us smooth things. That's what people want to hear now. But it's going to take the truth if we're going to be saved. Mm -hmm. If you stay in Timothy, go go to First Timothy, chapter number four, verse number one. Look what he says here. He says, "Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith." Mm -hmm. How are they going to depart from the faith? Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Well, who's going to preach a doctrine of devil except for a devil's minister? That's what's happening. This stuff is demonic. 
speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. See, this is what he's talking about. These are the things. Look what he said, forbidden to marry. See, that, 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 that's where you, you at, you there right now. A lot of times people not, not getting married, they're just living together. And then can get married in a relationship, but won't get married. See, forbidden to marry. And I don't know how somebody in not even, you can't be in your right mind if you think you going to heaven and you living with somebody out of wedlock. You are absolutely out of your mind. You are under a false doctrine. See, forbidden to marry, commanding to abstain from meat, which God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. You know the truth, you can eat. You can eat. They have all these different things now, what you can't eat and what you're supposed to eat. Let me tell you something. Bless it, pray over it, and go on and eat. People bring up all this stuff. He said, you know what he said there? He said, of them which believe and know the truth. So you got to know the truth for yourself. You got to know it for yourself. Look, look what he said. Go down to verse number four, and I'm going to close this little part up. He said, for every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with what? Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. For it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Mm -hmm. There it is. I don't care how bad it. Pray over it. Mm -hmm. That's that. There it is. Mm -hmm. So we need to know. We need to know truth for ourselves. Not all this man-made rhetoric. Fairy tales. People talking about these pseudo-blessings. And pseudo, that's, some, that's a word that simply means Something that's not real. Mm -hmm. And this is what we are talking about. You, you have too much of this stuff going on now that's confusing people. Yes, and, and, and it's corrupting them. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're confused. they listening to all kinds of stuff. And they're just as corrupt as they can be. Mm -hmm. Go to Colossians. Mm -hmm. Chapter number 2. And verse number 8. Look what he said. And I think I think the best way to do the, the the gospel and the plan of salvation is not hard. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's not hard. And if we can keep it just what the Bible says, mm -hmm. people will be saved without all of this rhetoric. That's right. Look at look at that eighth verse. It said, "Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, mm -hmm. after the tradition of men." Mm -hmm after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of this stuff now is worldly. Yes, Lord. They, they had all this stuff a while back, talking about debt-free and, and, and all this health and wealth and people throwing money at their own, own altar and stuff. Look what it said. This is not after Christ. This is man-made stuff. Mm -hmm. And we need to be aware of this. Before you, you need to be aware of people just do stuff. And you don't know where it come from or what's going on with it. it, it it's it, it's sad. Just like, just like our young people, a lot of times they don't understand. These boys walking around with their pants sagging, they just doing it because other people are doing it. They don't know where that started, what it means, what it represents. See, those, they don't realize those, those things were being done of a sexual nature. Mm -hmm. But they just doing it. Me, I heard one boy talking about that show, I got swag. See, that's, that, 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 that's sad. Mm -hmm. And people in the church doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Doing stuff and don't know where it come from because somebody said it. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what the origin of it is. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we need to do. So these are rudiments of the world. Not after Christ. Look at verse number 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Where is it at? In Jesus. Mm -hmm. In him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. 
Look what it says. 10. And ye are complete in him. Which is the head of all principality and power. Mm -hmm. You stay in Jesus. That You, you got everything you need. Yes, Jesus. You don't need to be going all over the place. People pulling all this stuff. I pull all this stuff out the air. And a lot of it don't even make no sense. He said you're complete in him. Mm -hmm. He have all power. Yes, when he yes. come about the grave he said all power mm -hmm. in heaven and in earth is given unto me. We need to understand these things. We need to understand all of these things. Mm -hmm. We don't need all this. These th people make up stuff that sound good, debt free and all, health and wealth and all this other stuff. We need to stay with the truth. Because yes, here, I don't care how much money you got or how much money you don't have. At the end of the day, I want to be saved from the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. Now that's it. Mm -hmm. Now that's it. And I don't care what you accumulate here, you ain't taking it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's oh, all. Oh, oh. What, you, what, you, what, you, what you struggle for somebody else, they're going to be getting that stuff before you even cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. They be marching there, grabbing that stuff <laughs> when you even dead. Good. While you sick, they already planning what they're going to take. These are things we have to understand. You ain't taking that stuff with you. No, no, no. I want to be, let me tell you something. When I leave out of here, I want to be transformed and moved into the presence of Christ. Yes, Lord. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, once I leave, because once you leave out here, what this world got going on, that have nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. You moving into a whole new realm. Mm -hmm. And it's called eternity. Yes, Jesus. That's the key. People don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Look, look at, look at Thessalonians. I think we're gonna hit that, and I might be ready to close up. Look at Second Thessalonians. Uh, let's look at Second Thessalonians. See if we can get some understanding here about what we're trying to do with trying to live a way that God wants us to live mm -hmm. and wants us to we want to understand yes. that this this is a time now that we need to get our house and our mind mm -hmm. in order because yes. we are living in the last day yes. and the Lord is on his way mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. and these are the things we need to understand we need to we need to be ready yes, and we Lord. need to get ourselves together mm -hmm. because if we don't we're going to find ourselves in a problem because everybody's going to stand before God yeah, we're right. going to have to stand before mm -hmm. God and yeah. that's just that's that's just that's just all it is to it let me this this is what I was, this is what I was trying to, to uh, talk to you about look at uh second Thessalonians Chapter number one, verse number seven. It said, And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from the heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. So I don't care what happened here. When you move into that next when you move into that next realm, that's eternity. That's going to, and, and you see what he said, everlasting. Everlasting destruction that will continue on. You see that? These are things we're trying to get some understanding on. People don't like to talk about that. Look, stay stay in Second Thessalonians. Go to the second chapter. Go to the second chapter. And look at verse number nine. Look what it says. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power 
and signed in line one. He's talking about the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. That's it. He's going to fool a lot of people. Yeah. It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. See, you just don't need to receive truth. You have to receive the love mm -hmm. of truth. You got to love it. Mm -hmm. People all you say is that it ain't too hard for me. No, you got to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. You got to get to the point where you love it. Mm -hmm. Look, why? Look at verse number 11. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And that's what you got right now. And whoever, whoever even saw how people believe in lies with what Donald Trump did talking about that election mm -hmm. what was rigged and was false. And look at all the people he got going. Look at all the preachers he got going along with it. Mm -hmm. These southern evangelists mm -hmm. going along with that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling you. You got to be careful. That's right. You got to be careful. And people down there hollering and going right along with them. Going right along, Kenneth Copeland down there laughing, and and, and and the people going right along with him. That woman up there, that woman down there, talking Paula about White. Uh, Paula, White. Paula White, talking about they sending angels out of Africa. Who ever <laughs> heard of such a thing? And people down there hollering behind that. People are deceived. Jesus. Talking about angels out of Africa. I heard one, I heard one man say, "Well, if they coming out of Africa, what country are they coming out of there? Because they got a whole bunch of countries in Africa." Africa is a continent. It's pitiful. It's a sad, it's a sad, it's a sad situation. He said, that's what the Lord said. He said, on, look what he said. That's what's dangerous. He said, God shall send a strong delusion. Now, if the Lord gives you a delusion, who's going to get you out of it? Look at that. Look at verse 12. That they all might be damned mm. who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Mm. It's time for us, and, 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 and I'm just telling you, the Lord is giving me these messages because it's time for us to wake up. Mm -hmm. It's time to wake up. We're right at the cusp of the rapture. The Lord coming and people still, the harvest is past, the summer's ended, still not saved, and people around here playing church, going around talking about getting degrees and pieces of paper and don't even know who the Lord is. It's sad. But we pray that God will open up the eyes of those that are blinded, touch the minds of those that don't know him in the pardon of their sin. Thank God for you today. We pray that something been said to help you. Uh, you can find this message, another gospel. You can find it on our YouTube channel, Bishop Jonathan E. Locus. And anything else that we've done, my wife makes sure that they go to the YouTube. So you can find, I think the last time we counted, it was over 80. So, yes, yeah, so he says almost up to ninety now. So we can get we can get these things. You can go ahead and listen, take take me with you and sit down and listen and let that word get in your heart. Cause we're not preaching and teaching nothing but the word of God. Mm -hmm. If you follow what I'm saying, you can find everything right in the scripture. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can cash app dollar sign ministry twenty twenty one ministry cash app. Ministry 2021. We pray that something been said to help you. Join us if the Lord say the same on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And may the Lord bless and keep you is our prayer.